All right, let's get to Callahan on as we talk to the head coach about a variety of topics. First off, Tony Pollard and the Titans run game. Pollard continues to produce solidly at 94 yards on Sunday. Good to have him. Do you expect to have his partner, Tajay Spears, back for Sunday's game against New England to help Tony out? Yeah, we're hopeful that Tajay makes it back, but uh, Tony has just been such a tremendous addition um, in the run game, in the pass game. His production with the ball in his hand is, has been fantastic. And, I mean, even that big screen got called back on a, on a hold, but just continues to make huge plays for us. Um, and provide a uh, steady veteran leadership on top of it. And again, hopefully get Tajay back to maybe lighten the load on him some. He's had to play a lot. All right, Calvin Ridley got it going in the Motor City. 10 catches, 143 yards. How do you get more out of Ridley like that? And the second part of the question is, do you hope that Will Levis could be throwing him the ball on Sunday? Yeah, I think we finally got to see uh, the Calvin Ridley that we, we had hoped to see. He made plays down the field, made explosive plays, uh, made big plays on the ball when it was near him. Um, just a really impressive performance and one that we have to continue. And, and yeah, we'll see where Will is at this week, and um, there's, there's a chance that, that he may be ready to roll. Um, but again, we'll, we'll see as the practice week begins on Wednesday. Finally, the Titans pass rush looked uh, really the best it has in several weeks. Four total quarterback sacks. Arden Key, two in the ball game, and that gives him three in two weeks. What is the pass rush doing better, and how has Arden Key gotten so high? Uh, just Arden's been fantastic, especially uh, last uh, at the game. I mean, just the, the effort off the edge, the energy, uh, being able to go win the one-on-ones, that's what we, we hadn't done enough of, is when getting the chance to go win one-on-one, -on -one, he won. Um, found ways to get to the quarterback and affect the passer. And uh, the pass rushers really start, starting to step up. They've kind of found a groove. And again, I think that's one of the best fronts in football right now in the Detroit Lions. And uh, we found a way to be really disruptive against the run game and uh, disrupt their timing in the passing game by getting after the quarterback. Lions finished the game with just 225 yards of total offense. Jeffrey Simmons making a good play there.